Hi and welcome to a new screencast from us at Cordamera. My name is Adam Everton and today I'm going to show you a great module for embedding video clips or slides from different sites and sources on the internet. The module I'm going to show you is called Video Filter. But don't worry, it's not just videos, you actually have a variety of sources that you can use. Perhaps the most common one is YouTube, but you also can use College Humor, Daily Motion, Google Videos, SlideShare, Vimeo, Vine, and, well, well, nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition, we all know that. Moving right along. Embedding videos could be tricky, and I've found this video filter module to be one of the most easy ways to embed videos on your Drupal site. After you download it and enable the module, you go to Configuration, and then Text Formats and Editors. This module works as a text filter, so you can use the role system in Drupal to set it up uh, differently from one uh, text format to another. For example, if your role as editor has access to the full HTML text format, you could enable video filter to work only with full HTML. And vice versa, if your role as a minor editor only has access to the basic HTML, you can configure that text format to not being able to add uh, videos via this text filter. In this example I'm going to show you uh, the full HTML. So this is it. We're going to go down to this, enabled filters. Now you have some of them already enabled, line images, caption images, so on and so forth. But you also have the video filter. So you click that. You have a short description on how it works. We're going to take a closer look at that, of course. So after clicking this or enabling it, uh, you have this filter settings. And there you have the player width and height. And of course, this has to do with the theme. If you have a column where your text will be, will be shown, that width is the player width. Uh, in this example, I'm going to just leave 400 and uh, the height is 300. You can allow multiple sources. The module gives you um, the possibility of adding many URLs to a video clip, for example, on YouTube and with, with a comma in between. And if you want to use that function, uh, you need to check this and the used source is selected at random. So you can basically have a playlist of 10 or 15 different video clips and one of them is selected at random when the node is presented. Okay, next up, enabled plugins. Well, you need to enable the different uh, plugins or source of material that you want to use. Um, so you see there's a lot of them, I've mentioned some of them and I've already uh, enabled the YouTube because I'm going to use a YouTube URL for my example. Right, so let's save that, we come back here. Now if you want to use uh, the basic HTML text format as well uh, with the video filter module, you need to configure that separately or any other text format that you might use on your website. Right, so we've enabled the module and, and we've enabled the text filter. Uh, so let's go and create some content. I'm going to use uh, an article. I'm going to create an article. Uh, all right, so video filter test. All right, so I could use um, some lorem ipsum. Now here's the trick. For embedding the video, the only thing you'll need is the URL to the specific video. So if we go to, for example, now YouTube, 
and we search for cute kittens, we all love kittens, and we take this one, the top 10 cute kitten videos compilation. So just copy this, go back to your site, and between two brackets, you write video, colon, and then the URL. Make sure that you have the correct text format, in this case, full HTML, or it won't work, and then save and publish. And there it is. So when Drupal shows this node to the visitor, or, or in this case, uh, you as an editor, when the text is filtered, the module notices these two brackets with the video colon and the URL, and it transforms it into an HTML5 video container and shows the video, and it works as well. And you also have some more features in this module. As I've shown you, you can set uh, a default width and height. Uh, you can use autoplay. Uh, you can override the default width, height, and autoplay setting in the filtered code. You can show a random video from comma-separated lists. You can align the embedded video left or right. You can also use um, different plugins to show uh, YouTube playlists, for example, and choose a random video from that playlist. So that's the video filter module. Really easy to set up and really easy to use. Now you can embed kitten videos everywhere in every Drupal installation. All right, thank you for watching this screencast. Please comment on the guides and screencasts we have put together on our website and YouTube channel. Take care, bye.